exciting event, the dawn of a new era in Canadian and Quebec playing a prominent role. In the last two decades, we have witnessed a dramatic change in the conduct of neuroscience, the study of the brain. Like most areas of science, the information revolution has profoundly changed the way we collect and analyze a vast amount of information. We seek to turn this wealth of data into knowledge and, eventually, into wisdom. We can now use powerful analytics to reveal subtle aspects of the individual brain, its genetics, how the environment shapes those genetics, and how that brain develops through life. The Healthy Brains for Healthy Lives initiative, in partnership with our colleagues at Western University, will investigate all aspects of brain function in children and adults. It will allow us to better understand how the pressures of modern living, stress, social media, <coughs> addiction, affect the brain. It will allow us to explore the influence of cultural differences on brain development and optimize the potential of our citizens to function in today's knowledge-based economy. These advanced, advanced computational approaches also allow us to design better treatments for the scourges that challenge our society. Depression, chronic pain, Alzheimer's disease, to name but a few. In this regard, it is particularly pleasing for us at McGill to see the success of the University of Montreal in this CFREF Apogee competition. There is a tremendous synergy between the broader big data vision of Dr. Bengio and colleagues and our own focus on the application of such techniques in the brain. We anticipate a constant bilateral flow of ideas, people, and data between our groups. We also foresee the growth of a truly national Canadian brain initiative, arising from this federal investment in Canadian neuroscience. In the C-Brain IT platform, we already have much of the IT technology needed to integrate brain research across the country. The CFREF APG award will allow us to build on this platform with a national network of neuroscientists engaged in collaborative brain research in many areas, such as developmental disorders and dementia. Furthermore, it allows Canada to take its place in the international arena with a national initiative to, revive, to rival the Human Brain Project in Europe and the U.S. Brain Initiative, a Canadian initiative focused on translation of brain research into the clinic, into government policy, and into society. The Healthy Brains for Healthy Lives initiative will strengthen our international presence. Indeed, even before the official noted notification of this award, we have launched a new axis of collaboration in clinical neuroscience between partners in China, Canada, and Cuba, the so-called CCC axis. Neuroscience has become a global network, and Canada is very much a hub in that network. The CFREF Apogee Award will accelerate our activities in building this global network. I wonder, what's your bobo ici? The cerveau, le monde, les deux? In summary, this transformative award will change the face of brain research in the country. I am privileged to be part of this revolution, and on behalf of all of my colleagues at McGill and at UDM, I cannot wait to get started. Merci à tous.